This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is Robbie McRae, the CEO of Caracal Gold. Thank you very much for joining us today. Robbie, how are you doing? Morning, Mark. I'm, I'm very well in yourself. Thanks for the thanks for your time. Yes, well, thank you very much for your time. Of course, the company has released some news this morning regarding the first production from a new heap leach pilot plant at Kilimapesa. So you're continuing to make some uh, rapid progress. Can you give us some background to the uh, lead up to this uh, building of the pilot plant and what its objectives were? Sure. So this was the first phase of our planned expansion program to take us from the the current production rate up to the 2,000 ounce or 24,000, 2,000 ounce per month or 24,000 ounce per annum target that we've come out with. Um, The heap leach pad allows us to process the low grade ore, which we've been mining anyway. So while we've been mining high grade ore um, for the, for the, for our our milling circuit, we've been stockpiling the low grade ore and we came out late last year and said we were going to run a heap leach pilot plant and yeah we successfully done it we we built the pad and we built the full circuit um we've now successfully commissioned it and we've produced our first gold from it so yeah we, we we're really really happy based on the results from this the, this pilot plant the the board's given the go-ahead for the construction of of, of the full pad um so yeah exciting times so is this pilot plant a smaller version that you will then replicate and make bigger, or will you just build on the current small one that you've got the pilot project? Yeah, I mean, we, we've, we've, we've designed it in such a way that it's modules, so they're going to be, um, the, the heap leach, the, the, the pair that we've designed, the initial lift, the, the first lift was 5,000 ton. Um, you would have seen from the photographs that went out on Twitter now that we've done the second lift. So I believe we've probably got between eight and 9,000 tons on the pad at the moment now. And 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 we we're going to design it and construct it in 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 five thousand ton modules. Um, so we we've got the go ahead now to 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 move ahead with the additional modules, and we'll be able to now process the the thirty thousand ton of low grade that's sitting on the on the floor, and and then be able to support the fifteen thousand ton um low grade that we're mining at the moment. And as we come out in the announcement, that will be growing and hopefully going twenty twenty five thousand ton a month and expanding. Okay. So I noticed from the RNS that you mentioned that uh, you have exceeded or the heap leach plant has exceeded expectations, particularly with the recovery achieved within 14 days, whereas 60 days is what's to be expected. Why do you think you were able to exceed these expectations? I believe the, more, the ore might just be more amenable to, 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 to the leaching process than what we did in, our, in, in, in the test work, you know. When when you run you run test work in in laboratory conditions and we 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 ran it in our own lab, in in our own laboratory and we did some work independently as well. Um, when you when you put it onto the heap and you you're in real life situation, the the ore's obviously leaching better than what we had expected under the lab conditions. Um, th- that that being said, it's leaching faster than than what we expected. So we were expecting the the, the recoveries to be over fifty percent. Um, but we were expecting to only achieve those recoveries probably in 60 days, and we've we've achieved over a 60 percent rec- over a 50 percent recovery um, in 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 14 days. So yeah, it's leaching faster than what we thought, and 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 hopefully the recoveries will be better than what we thought. Okay, well, there's a couple of slides that you've sent me where we can have a look at the the plan, the design plan of the of the leach pad. So let's just talk over them to begin with. So looking here at the first one, this is a top down view of the pad. Is it? Yeah, I mean, heap leach is very simple technology. Um, you 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 have a have a pad where you where you stockpile the the ore, um, and 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 the dimensions and 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 the first lift capacity are are shown on there. So those are the dimensions, and the first lift um, was three meters high and um, covered the pad, and we've got roughly five thousand metric tons onto the pad. Um, very simple technology. Um, it, it it's low capex. And 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 low opex, Mark. I mean, heap leach is, is known for that, and hence you can treat the lower grade ore. Um, and then we 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 take the pregnant solution through a filter. Um, it flows through into um, a pregnant pond. We've we've put two pregnant ponds in. So the 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 downstream 
that we've constructed and designed is capable of treating um, its, its full capacity. So we, we don't need to build any additional capacity downstream from the pads. All that's required now from us is to keep adding pads. So you'll see we've designed and constructed the pregnant ponds. Um, from the pregnant ponds, the, the pregnant solution um, basically goes into, into a CIS absorption circuit um, where the gold is absorbed onto carbon. And then from the, from the, the, the CIS circuit, it goes into our elution circuit. So it's very, very simple technology. Um, simple process to design and construct, hopefully um, a rapid payback, um, environmentally friendly. There's no requirement for disposal through a tailings dam. Um, yeah, so simple design, simple equipment, simple technology, um, environmentally friendly. So we, 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 we're really pleased with the progress. Okay. And you can then just replicate this model, like you said earlier, just add another heat bleach pad, another heat bleach pad, and run it into the same system. Correct. Absolutely okay. correct. Okay. Okay. The more low grade, more ore we mine, the, 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 the more pads or the bigger pads we'll build and the more gold we'll produce. Okay. So now that you have this, this pilot plant completed and it's looking successful and you're going to commission uh, the full the full blown pad, does this now mean that Caracal are quite self-contained then within your mining operations and of course now the ability to process the ore to, to extract the gold? Yeah, I mean, there's there's three components to our expansion. Is is obviously the heat bleach was the phase one. Um, we we've we concurrently to this, we've been upgrading our to our tailings treatment circuit, um, and we'll be able to come out and announce the results of that fairly shortly. And then and then obviously the big one is the is the is 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 the expansion and the optimization of the milling circuit. Um, work on that hasn't started as yet. Um, we're still in the, the, the design and the test work phase, and obviously we've been focused on getting the heat bleach up and running. So, yeah, I mean we've 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 ticked the first box now. Heat bleach is done. Um, bigger pads and everything will be designed and constructed. Hopefully, tick the second box soon, which is the the optimization and the expansion of the of the the tailing circuit, and then we'll tackle the big one, which is which is obviously the 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 milling circuit. So we're on track. Um, the, the the numbers are imprinted in all of our brains. You know, we've we've committed to the market two thousand ounces per month by the end of twenty twenty two, and we're working in a systematic, very well planned out way to to achieve that. Okay, and in terms of just on the funding for all of these activities, how well are you funded throughout the rest of this year? Um, I mean, Kilima Pest is making money, but these mm. things don't come cheap. So, um, we we con we continue in investigating funding options but i mean everything has been uh, we've we, we funded everything from the the capital raise that we did um late last year early this year um and we're funding quite a lot out of cash flow i mean we're funding the construction of the sea beach pad we we we're funding the exploration drilling um yeah we we we're funding we we funding a lot of a lot of activities out of the money that we're generating Okay, excellent. So all in all, and just to get a bit of a, a summary, things are progressing very well at Caracal Gold with the plans to achieve that 25,000 ounces per year by the end of this year? 24,000 ounces. 24. My, my, board always, <laughs> my board always pulls me up on that, 24,000 ounces a okay. year. Yes. Excellent. Well, Robbie McRae, the CEO of Caracal Gold, thank you very much for your time. Good. Thank you, Mark. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.